okay with the Grateful Dead and Bob Dylan. Well, you never believe me anyway. Just watch. So here's some live news footage from a Washington, D.C. news station filmed July 6, 1986 at RFK Stadium. And it was a huge concert, obviously, a double bill with Bob Dylan backed by Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers and the Grateful Dead. I have to believe most of the people that you're looking at now are deadheads more than Dylan heads. And it was the two tours colliding for a uh, few shows. I'd seen the show two days earlier in Buffalo on July 4th. And uh, deadheads weren't really as reverent to Bob Dylan at that point as they later became, especially as the dead mixed more Dylan covers into their repertoire over the years. Uh, many were heckling Dylan during the Buffalo show and yelling at him for playing the same set that he had played two days prior to that in Akron at the Rubber Bowl, which was not true. There were, there were six, eight songs the same, but you know, Dylan had a set structure and and mixed it up in several slots. So we weren't on track. But look at this crowd. We couldn't do this stuff social distancing. That beautiful girl on the guy's shoulders and yeah, that girl on her, her her guy's shoulders bopping around. Occasionally you'd see things like this end up in disasters and falling down. But uh, socially distant? No. Rock and roll, yes. Hot as hell, 96 degrees on July 6th. Next day, I think it was closer to 100. And it kicked Jerry Garcia into having a diabetic coma from an abscessed tooth. And a big day in Grateful Dead history. But pretty wild to see what things were like. So kids, that's what it was like to go to a show in the 80s. Back when you could touch each other smell each other rock on <laughs>